Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jay back with my comic book pickup for the month of May. I did have to order some of the comic books from an online retailer because my comic book uh, store didn't put the number ones to the, the new um, version of Edge of the Spider-Verse. So I, I did end up getting every copy that was available for retail that was normal price. Because I'm not paying $20, 30 $40 for a cover of a comic book unless I really like the art on that one. So let's go ahead and get into some of these comic books. So here's the last Ronin, the, the, on the third um, issue number three, and that's cover C. And here's the B cover, as well as the A cover. So far, I'm liking last Ronin last year's as well as the original. Looking forward to where they was going at, but I'm pissed that I missed out on the uh, the Toes versus the Power Rangers. I'm um, versus Street Fighter, so I may order that from off of the online retailers to get those get that series. Uh, next is Spider Man, Ends of the Spider Verse Part Seven, and it has Spider Boy on the cover. I did, I want I went to my school my store and found this. This is actually a second print copy. So this is not one of the original runs. So that's why the next one you see will be Spider-Man number eight. Because I already did number seven in a, a previous uh, video. And you see that cover with Spider-Man getting shocked. And here's a homage to the old Secret Wars cover with Deadpool on it. Instead of um, Black Suit Spider-Man. Alright. Next we have Amazing Spider-Man. And it has Mary Jane in a Spider-Man suit. That's the variant cover. And here's the main cover, which had, and when it says whatever, whatever happened to Mary Jane. Amazing Spider-Man number 25. Next, this is the Edge of the Spider-Verse number one that I ordered offline. As you can see, that I have the boards in plastic are too big for the um, current run comics, so they're for the, more than likely for the Silver Age. That's number one with, it looks like, um, Spider Rex and Venom Rex. I, I'm not saying that's his name, but it's Venom, the Venom symbiote. As well as, uh, I don't know who the, the female spider is. Next is another variant. And that has Spider Gwen or Ghost Spider, Spider Ham or Spider Pig, Howard the Duck, Spider Man, Spider Noir, and Miles on it. I st oh, that ugly thing, I guess it's not a girl. It's Spider Killer. I do like the art on these, on the Edge of the Spider Verse. Because they did do one last year. And I thought this was the same series and they just was re-releasing it until I found out it wasn't. And I definitely like this cover. It's a play on a lot of the spider people. So if you look up there, they have Silk, Miles, Gwen, um, Peter Parker, and regular Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Now here's the main cover for um, Spider-Rex. It features Spider Rex and says Serial Spider Killer. I'm trying to see if anybody else. Yeah, yeah. But you see a Spider Rex and Venom Rex, I guess, fighting each other. Next series I have is um, Carnage Reigns Alpha. Here's the main cover that says Carnage Starts Here. Like I said, these limited series is what I go to. Because I can get a complete series that don't have to be entangled in a long, ongoing comic book. Except for Spider-Man 2022. I'm going to keep continuing reading that one. I like that. So that will be my main collection. There's another one with Miles and the Scorpion. And Carnage having everybody entangled. Like Jada Pickney. <laughs> Shut up. Carnage Reigns. Here's, um, Alpha here's another variant cover. 
and it has carnage. It looks like it's venom swallowing everybody up. That's Red Goblin, Iron Man, and oh, actually, that's Carnage. I'm sorry, I didn't see the red highlights. Spider Man, I mean, Miles, Spider Man, Red Goblin, and Iron Man. All right, next is Coat of Carnage Misery, and that's a variant cover. I don't know who she is, but she looked crazy. You know, Carnage keep them crazies. Here's the next one, Code of Carnage Misery with, it's the Venom variant. Let's see if they say who she is on this one. It still say Code of Carnage. It, I think that's Mary Jane. It looked like it though. That could be Mary Jane. Especially with that red hair. Next, we have Extreme Venomverse. I, love, I like this art for this one. I like some of the kitty art that they do on some of the copies. Here's uh, another variant. Oh, this is the main cover. That was a variant. Here's a few Venoms. As you can see, there's a Venom with a uh, sword as well and a little, little ugly kid at the bottom as well. Next, we have one of my favorite um, Spider-Man. Spider people, Spider Gwen, Shadow Clones, and this is issue number three. I like this one. I really do like this this cover. Next we have uh, was it a variant? That was a variant as well. So here's go. Here's another variant with uh, Spider Gwen Craven. Here's the main cover. There are more covers, but uh, I'm just not gonna get those and this is spider gwen rhino choking out regular spider gwen and that's spider gwen shadow clone issue number three here's my new favorite spider person as well silk so here's silk number one and that's the variant i wonder if she's going to be in um beyond the spider verse when it comes out in march it'd be nice to see her in there as well because she's one of the newest spider people Here's another um, issue. Um, this is the main cover, I believe. Yeah, it's a silk. Now here's Red Goblin, and this is the main cover. And he's battling the Golden Goblin, or Gold Goblin. I keep on saying Golden. Here's it looks like a Spider Carnage version. Also, it says Spider Verse variant. All right, and it looks like it's a Spider Carnage. Red Goblin. And for what it looks like, because I haven't read it yet, it looks like Red Goblin is Goblin with a spider, the arm um, with a carnage symbiote. And that's definitely what it is. Or a symbiote, period. It's another copy, um, another variant color. And I had to go back in my store and get oh, these Bloodline Dollar Blades because they haven't been giving them to me. So it's all the way up to issue number four. So I'm probably missing co um, covers because I only can get what they had on the shelves. So here's issue number four, the main cover. Here's the variant. Issue number three. It's just one cover. Issue number two, and then as well as just it's just one cover as well. I'll check online and see if it's more. If it is, I'll order them. Next, we have Before the Fall, X Men Son Sons of X. So it looks like um, Nightcrawler turned into a real devil, but you know this is in lieu of the Hellfire Gala and the Fall of X story coming coming along with it. So a lot of these are the prequel to the Fall of X. Here's a um, that was the main cover, and here's the variant cover with varying various people all around scattered. That's a nice abstract drawing, though. I like that cover. Um, here's Rogue and Gambit number three, and it look like Rogue and Gambit they battling look kind of crazy, you know. You can see them in the background: the Lady Deathstrike, Electro, and um. Look like that's Sandman. Oh no, that's um Rucker. Alright, um 
That was the that was the main cover. Here's the variant. Next we have I Am Iron Man issue number three. And here's the main cover, you know, the Iron Sa Samurai. Here's variant, the variant cover. It was with Iron Man and two kids trying on his equipment. Next we have uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider issue number three. Nothing too special in the background, but you can see the spirit of vengeance behind them. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, it is Valkyrie. I thought so. Here's Cosmic Ghost Rider versus um, Valkyrie. And this, from what I remember, I believe Cosmic Ghost Rider is, the, is a herald of um, herald for uh, Galactus. I think this is the last, co last issue of this Batman and Joker, the Daily Duo. This is book number seven. I'm not sure because this book just keeps going and going. Every time I think it's over, another issue comes out. I like this cover as well. It looks more like um, the Batman from one of the Super Nintendo games. And the Joker is always looking crazy. Here's another copy. Here's another. And the final cover for that, which I like that. I really like the smile into the bat sign. All right, here's Gargoyles issue number five. As you know, Gargoyles always has about five or six different variant covers to it. And I heard they bringing it back to cartoon as well. I have been re-watching the cartoon on Disney Plus from the 90s. It used to be one of my go-tos when I came home, chilling from school. Even though it came on a little later in my life, I think I was already a teenager, I did still make time to watch cartoons when I came home from school as well, before I hit them streets. And here's the final, oh no. Yeah, I seasoned them up already. Here's another copy. And finally, here's the final uh, cover. Now, I showed this also in my video game pickup video, but I did grab this from um, Ross, which I like it. Classic Encounter. It would be nice if I had this actual um, comic book. But hey. But that's all I have for today. Okay. I do have some comments for next, the next video, but it's not really a lot. I'm pretty sure when I get this next one's on tomorrow, because tomorrow's Friday, it's probably gonna be a hell of a lot of comics. If not, hey, I guess a lot of my series are ending. But uh, as always, just follow me on all my social media. That's SAK211L on Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, Facebook, uh, I said YouTube. Just put SAK two on one in it. I'll pop up on almost everything, even on PSN. Um, also follow Anchor Gamers, and that's on all social medias except for TikTok. So Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube. I'm probably forgetting something else, but also go to um, AnchorGamers.com. The site should be back up and everything ready to sell and be ordered. And just come game with us, you know. It's not hard to find us. So with that, y'all have a great day. And, uh, and stay cool because it's hot out there.